to me, well, if you still want to know how eh. All of me, well, if you still want to know how eh. yeah. Oh, yeah, you for my Gapataya, Talibola, Taligola I'm a tear fine to the Askamaya I'm a tear fine to the Askamaya and you welcome back to my channel. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, uh. What, 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 what was that? What was that? <laughs> okay, so I just woke up like how many minutes ago? 10 minutes ago, had a bath, and I'm here. So I'm sleepy, sleepy, but yeah, we gotta work. It's like past 7 a.m. in the morning, but yeah, I have a lot to do today, so I decided to do this video before I go about my day. Okay, all right. So the last, the last time I did a video about the Nigerian borders, you know, it was a lot. If you've not seen that video, please go see the video. And then somehow, somehow, I've been getting messages, people asking me what's up what's the update i feel like the update is everywhere if you really want to know <laughs> it's everywhere all over the news and all but since i started it i'm just going to finish it up <laughs> so i'm just basically here to give you guys updates about the closure okay so mabel tell us what's the update what's the update what's the update to the whole border closure tell us girl all right guys let me be honest with you this whole closure thing has had a positive impact on the nigerian economy honestly you know which doesn't even still make sense to me and unfortunately it has had a negative impact on the economy of our neighbors you know but that's what it is you know but honestly it doesn't make sense to me because okay i'm going to get there all right so right now most nigerians do not have a choice but to fall back on made in nigeria goods all right so if you're that person that you know produce manufacture sell made in nigeria goods you know that most people do not have a choice right now but to fall back and call you and say oh okay so how much is that rice again that local rice <laughs> we just do not have a choice all right, but people in the higher echelon, definitely, like the high class people, they can still afford, you know, foreign products, foreign rice, you know, cars and stuff like that. But majority are not rich, okay? So, and made Nigeria goods are not bad, you know. It's just that we've had this mindset that, oh, foreign things are better. But right now, we just have no choice but to fall back on our products and stuff, which I think is good. But why I do not still like the whole thing is that it does not make made in Nigeria products cheaper. Made in Nigeria rice is very expensive right now. Like, I feel like if this whole thing has impacted us positively, then our products should be cheaper, yeah? Doesn't that make sense? That, okay, we're purchasing made in Nigeria rice. It's produced here. So why should the price still be very close to foreign rice? It does not make sense to me, so that's it that's my opinion all right yeah so yeah obviously it has helped us the, the gdp you know in the area of inter it's just international trade yeah trade between neighbors you know bene you know our our immediate neighbors has risen so much as a result of the closure so like i said it's very useless to me if we're not purchasing our own but yet our own is still on the high side it doesn't make sense i don't know what can be done about this but to me it doesn't make a single sense does it make sense to you let me know in the comments i really yeah let me know let me know what you think especially if you're nigerian living in nigeria let me know what you think because this whole christmas period even made nigeria rice was so expensive i'm like what so we should stop eating rice <laughs> But I don't even like rice, so that doesn't matter to me. And honestly, just to be sure that I'm not just giving you my opinion, I have it in mind to, you know, have a certain interview if I have the time to, you know, probably go to the market or ask people around what they think, you know, just to know if it has really impacted us positively. I would like to ask people, okay, what do you think? How much was rice 2018 Christmas period? How much was local rice? How much was foreign rice? How much was it 2019 Christmas period? I would like to really know the difference and let you guys know but that's actually not an easy job to do right now because i have a lot so if i'm able to then i'm going to insert it right now and if i'm not able to then let's just go on in my opinion the nigerian government has to do something to fight 
inflation and bring it down to the barest minimum like you need to help the people it's not by closing the borders and not doing anything you're closing the borders yes it has helped us so far yes but it should we, we should benefit more you cannot just go ahead to close the border and what are benefiting is not so much you know so i feel like they should do something uh if the border closure has had a positive impact on our GDP, then I feel like the federal and state government should assist the local government because that's the places where all these things are being produced in the north, cucumber, tomatoes, onions, potatoes, you know, in the south, oil, yam, stuff like that, you know, those local places where these things are being produced. I think that the federal government should pump in more money, should, you know, pump in more support to make the whole thing easier for them, those people producing, because now the production is more than they used to produce before, so I think they should do something to help them. So yeah, all of them, the federal, state, and local government should basically do something to control, you know, the adverse effect that this inflation has on we Nigerians. That's going to be so, so good. Honestly, there isn't much update. Nothing much has happened. You know, some people are still hoping that they get to open the borders. I do not see that happening anytime soon. I feel like they're trying to fix stuff. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, I know it's affecting our neighbors, like I always say, you know. But yeah, I'm still going to try to bring like an update, like in my next video about this. You know because this whole thing is not up to a year yet so we'll have to chill when it's up to a year i think it's going to be a year like in august yeah in august it's going to be a year so when it's a year then we can now really examine everything properly it's not it's not yet there's nothing much really all of you asking there is really nothing going on right now it's just that it has been helping us and then our neighbors have been affected and then we Nigerians, some are happy. I'm really going to try my best to do the whole interview or ask people questions just to know because some people are happy, especially those that are producing this stuff. They're very, very glad that this is going on because it has helped their business basically. But some are not happy because, yeah, some people like Nigerians have really suffered. You know, there was someone that was getting married in Lagos and the person couldn't get enough chicken. A lot of things that we used to use in Nigeria, we used to, you know, get from our neighbors. A lot of things. But right now, the Nigerians are producing it, but they're not producing enough. So we get to really suffer it. So what do you think about the border closure? Again, I would like to know. Do you think that they should open it? Do you think, has it really affected you negatively? People that actually do business around the coconut area, coconut has been scarce, coconut has been expensive. So Nigerians are actually not even enjoying this whole thing. Totally. It has helped us, yes, but we're still suffering it, okay? So if you're our neighbor and you think that, oh, we're happy, we're just all happy that they have closed the border, that's not true. We're not excited about, we're not totally excited because we're shut up a lot of things. Sometimes you just wish, ah, oh, oh, coconut, you cannot start sending coconut through an airline. It's going to be very expensive. So there are some things that I know that we still we still need to brush up. So yeah, those that know so much about this, I would like to know what you think in the comments. Just drop it there. Let us have this discussion. And to our affected neighbors, uh, I believe we go there already last last. I believe that with time, everybody will start to reap the effect of, should I say, inter international trade or inter regional or interstate trade. At the end of the day, we're going to all reap the benefits. Let us see how far this is going to get us. Let us see where we're going to get with this. And yeah, this is just the end. I think I'm just repeating myself again. There is no nothing much to really talk about. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Show your girls some love. And yeah, I want to thank all of you for 5k subscribers. I wanted to hit it like by December, but I hit it on the 4th of January, which is not bad at all. I am super excited. <laughs> Look at my top. <laughs> I'm super grateful and thankful to you all. Thank you so much. I love you guys and I'm going to see you next time. Mwah. Bye.